Well, something unprecedented happened today. We were meant to film at the normal studio, yes, but it br it burned down. It didn't burn <laughs> down, but it might as well have because yeah. Friday I was in there. Do I forget what I was doing? And I walked in, the air wasn't on, and I walked up to the thing, and it said the air was on. And I walked up to the vent in the wall, put my hand up to it, took my temperature gun, which I own. You have shot, a temperature gun, honey? Yes, I do. You know who bought it for me? Ironically, RuPaul. No, uh -oh. no, I, I think. Oh, I think I got it as a gift from an executive producer at Drag Race. That makes a lot of he sense. He was like, here, this is what we use on Drag Race to make sure the air is right before Ru comes in. So they it's got like me the one. police force with their firearms. Yeah, like I thought it was a stun gun. Or it looks like a breathalyzer or something. I mean, it's like, a, it like looks a, like a gun up until where the barrel would be. And then it's flat with a display. Like, Is that what they do, your temperature? The COVID with? temperature. So it's all kind of. Yeah. Uh, Someday we're all going to. I'm not. <laughs> COVID is real. Yes, it is. And we'll stop it right there. But. At some point, we're gonna look back on some of these practices and we're gonna go, was that real? Well, right. Was that temperature gun real? You know what I mean? I think we're gonna do the same thing with TSA, perhaps. Uh, I hope one comes sooner than the other. <laughs> I can handle another COVID. I can't handle another frisk from TSA, okay? TSA, TSA, the well, ultimate drag pageant. <laughs> bring me 912, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I just watched Get Out recently and the hero, you know, the, the um, the super, super funny um, supporting actor works for TSA and it's a big like running thing. It's like, I work for TSA. And it's like very pro TSA for some mm -hmm. strange oh, yes. reason. But, yeah. but I love that. Yeah. Also, his little Jeffrey Dahmer monologue, I don't know if you remember, is pissed your pants funny. Oh, he's so funny. He's so, so funny. By the but, way, got to do the whole movie from probably one set and uh, probably shot it all in one, two days. Probably his apartment. Yeah. he's. he's uh, we, we're bad for not knowing the actor's name, but he's also. With it? It's, it's so, so, I watched Handsome, my brother. Hilarious. Hilarious. Steals the scenes that he's not even in yeah. with other people. I know. It's so good. Yeah, he's on the phone. The whole show. The whole time. By the way, when you are auditioning and they go, your character's TSA, but like weirdly proud of it. That's all you need to know. That's high comedy. I think it was just, I think probably because it's like TSA is like, uh, many black folks work at that job. Oh, sure. You yes. know what I mean? Um, I guess that's a good thing because that means that they, are well, they so far don't seem, um, racist in the way they hire yeah also they were it was pro tsa anti-cop because he goes to the cops and the cops are like right. make a fool out of him so it actually it's pretty fierce because i i've heard people say that tsa is racist of course like profiling people but i don't know if the hiring process is because i do see all ages oh yeah all genders all, genders, all, all everyone yeah, at the everybody, tsa everybody is like making your life a living hell at the airport <laughs> it's like when you're a kid and there's that like picture of the globe and people in all different outfits holding hands that's what the tsa is it's like <laughs> they're like put your fucking shoes in that box and do you have a laptop you have a fucking laptop, water in your bag, you bitch. Yeah. Get that water out of your bag, Girl, you they look bitch. at you, they look, you fucking <laughs> bitch. They pull that water out of your bag and they go. <laughs> like it's a dildo. Go, my like name it's a shit stain. is Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Sorry. Like it's a shit stained dildo. Like the shame. It might as well the be. Sh I know. It might as well I be. I know. The best part is Brandon will do, Brandon, who I love, my assistant. Love. Love. Out here. Love. <laughs> Brandon will proactively put waters and juices and snacks in my backpack. Like if we're For going to the airport in case we want food or something. Okay. And I won't know. So sometimes oh. I'll be at TSA and they'll be like, you got a water in here? I'm like, no, I do not. You got a 12 pack of Evian. <laughs> Girl, they pull out something like, and they just look at me and I go, and they go, my assistant must have put it in there. And they're like. Sure. Okay. Your, Your assistant. assistant. <laughs> yeah. Is he in the room with us Is he us in the room now? with us now? <laughs> by the way, um, T well, TSA was bred by the tragic events of 9-11, right? I mean, because I don't remember TSA pre that. Bread. Bread. Get bread. Got bread by 9-11. I got bread by 9-11. <laughs> Is it too early for a break? <laughs> okay, we'll keep going. I... Saw a tweet. <laughs> I saw a tweet that was like, people in their people who COVID hit in their early mid twenties now are ex had a very traumatic experience at a time where they're supposed to be developing like their major like identity. You know, yes, mid twenties, yeah. uh -huh. finding your tribe, having oh, your first grown up yeah, job, yeah, 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 yeah. going to bars for the first time. Oh yeah. And they said now that these people are being released into the wild, they're expect to function and work and and exist without those like traditionally formative experiences yeah. in a way at that yeah, time yeah. in their life. And then somebody else tweeted, oh girl, but there's been like a traumatic event every 10 years that has affected every generation. They were like, we had 9-11. And I was like, 
9 not, 11 was traumatic, but not, not COVID this, level. No, it also not shut down your life level for a year, a more. year or more. Not staying at home with your crack addict mom. Yeah, or you know what I mean on Zoom, like going through puberty on Zoom. Honey, boop. House party, boop. Remember the house party app, boop. Wait, house party. Girl, it was like. First of all, I installed it, and now it automatically opens in all my browsers, house which I don't know party? how to fix. House party. Yes. Surveillance. No, it's like you log in, and it was like Zoom before Zoom, where you could your house party link of your like house. I think anybody could join at any time, so you could be like, "Oh, someone's at your door," and then it's like your friends wanting to hang out at your house, which is just like a Zoom. Girl, I don't work there. Corny. It's I don't corny. Work there. It's where corny. I do work is Zoom. Zoom is. <laughs> Zoom is it? Let's roll the ad. I don't yeah. have the energy for it, so let's roll the <laughs> yeah. ad. Also, I uh, yoga Ooh. yoga studios. I'm so sorry. Hot drink, no coaster. A freshly oiled table. Where is this Murphy? Is this Murphy? I'm gonna check, and if it's not Murphy, you... I'm leaving. Smell that. Oh, I wouldn't do that. That is not Murphy. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that if I were ye. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for 20 minutes <laughs> into. Uh, you're gonna. Bleh. I'm fine. Bleh. Freshly oiled. I, can I tell you about Miss Table? Yeah. So she has two little sisters right behind you, extensions, if you will. She goes, if you take a look, just take a look right to your left. Yeah. See oh, extension number one and two. No, there, there's two extensions. She goes very long. If you want to have a very, like a 25 person dinner, of course I would never do Well, you could thing. hug this out from the, you normally hug this from, up from the wall. Hug or, it out? Like, sorry, you take it away from the wall normally. No, I love it against the wall. But why would you put chairs here then? Exactly. Who's getting in there? Well, in Is case, for in case I need to hug it away from the wall. <laughs> That's for Ozempic and Manjaro. <laughs> Oze Wungobi? Ozempic, Wungobi, Manjaro. <laughs> All right. No more Every sorrow. Every single person, this is uh, number five on my list. Every single person we know or have ever known is on Ozempic. 100%. I just ran into somebody who I've done several television shows with. I won't tell their business. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh my God, we You're live in LA. We live in entertainment. Yeah. She looked really trim. And I said, you look beautiful. And she's like, she was like, oh, is that big? I was like, you know, is that big? She was like, hell yeah, right away. Yeah, getting the shot. She was like, right away. And then when they told me it wasn't available anymore, now I'm on Manjaro just to manage it. <laughs> she said it like, <laughs> she said it like, you bet your ass and I'm going to get Wingovi. And you know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. yeah. Imagine her being like, oh yeah, I did. Of course I did. Yeah, girl. And I'm on heroin. And, yeah. like, <laughs> and she's like, oh yeah, I did. Um, and she looked great, I guess. Uh, but, but do you, is, does she look great or does she look super, super skinny? Well, or is that great? If. I guess if it's helping you manage your appetite and you're like drinking water, eating healthy, exercising, you will look great. But if you're just taking that and withering away, yeah. that window of looking great turns into a window of looking scary. Yeah, yeah, Vanderpump yeah. told me last week that I look too thin. I don't know about that. <laughs> so. You look very, you look very trim. Thank God. Very trim. I yeah, ran into Sam Nolman yesterday and he was like, you look so slim. And I was like, he's like, what? And I said, I hate to say this as someone who sells vodka, but I just haven't been drinking. <laughs> So I hate to sell vodka and then have everyone tell me you how look great I look vodka. from not drinking. You can sell vodka. Listen, it's not. It's just not for you at the current at time. At the current time, but at I will be back. At this current juncture, absolutely. I will be back. Trust. Um, trust and trust. believe. I will wear denim at the meet and greet. <laughs> trust. This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. I remember my first website. It was 1983. I was 15 years old. It was actually a cave drawing. Just kidding. But really, if you're not using Squarespace as your tool to build an online presence and run your business, what are you doing, Mary? It's not the Stone Age anymore. It's the 21st century. Squarespace tools are so easy to use that even a caveman can create an amazing website and online store. Just look at caveman.com and see how easy it is to purchase a club with overnight shipping. These Gen Zs were basically born with a smartphone shoved up their butts, so I love that all of Squarespace's sites are optimized for mobile. Because if you showed these kids a desktop computer, they wouldn't even know how to power it on. They'd probably just film themselves doing a dance in front of it. Like on TikTok. Hello! Also, everyone knows I'm really into numbers. I know my way around an abacus. I mean, a calculator. That's why I love Squarespace's analytics features, where I can use powerful insights to see who's visiting my site and how they're interacting with my content. It's never been easier to adjust my strategy to drive engagement and work smarter, not harder. One day I'll try that. It has amazing SEO tools to maximize my site's prominence in search results, because it doesn't matter how good your website is if it's hiding under a rock. Gone are the days of being buried in the search engine results, hunty. It's time to go in the light. 
So level up your online strategy with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by BetterHelp. Now, there are many times where I felt uncertain in my life about where I'm going, what am I doing? Honestly, this is crazy. Many of my wildest dreams have come true. And there are still times where I am like, what am I doing? What is going on? Why do I feel this way? Why did I react that way? Why, you know, I have a hard time this far into my life still connecting the dots with some of my behaviors and impulses and bad habits, harmful tendencies, you know. Whether you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, anything else. I mean, for me, so many of my relationships are people I work with or my career things are with family or, you know, like it's all inter interwoven. Therapy can help you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life so you can move forward confidently, excitedly. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice, the easier it gets. I know I've personally benefited from talk therapy because for me, being able to talk about things before I turn around and like unleash on my assistant or my mom or my boyfriend or any, like just being able to put the pieces together and like emotionally, I feel like I'm doing that thing where before you leave a hotel room, you like pre-clean, even though someone's going to clean it anyway. I'm like being able to talk in therapy about things before I talk to family and friends about things. It's like handing my friends and family like an, a slightly smaller, more concise puzzle, you know? And you know, therapy's for everyone. It's, it's about coping skills and setting boundaries and being the best. It's not about only major trauma or only disappointment in your life or, you know, it can just be about fresh batteries and efficiency and living the life you want. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's totally online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. I couldn't bring myself to watch the talent show that we were talking about on Dr- <laughs> Honey, I thought about rolling it in here with like a MacBook 2012, putting plugging it, in it in. Here, plugging it in, putting like, on no, with the um the like the teachers do on the stand. Yeah, but yeah. I, I would not I couldn't watch it with the sound again. I couldn't watch it as it is. I would have to put on like I don't know what's that annoying song. As it was, um, or the t- 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 I'm, t- t- I'm at a payphone. Yeah, something like that. Maroon Five. I, I'd have to put on something. Yeah, so we could just watch clips of it because. I, you know what? Listen, I, full disclosure, I, w- I watched this talent show because David watched it. Yeah. And I've never seen a talent show at the end of the season. Me neither. And was was James Mansfield in it? Yes, and she was incredible. Yeah, I saw hers. I was like, that's fun. She's there, funny. Without calling out anyone in particular, uh-huh. there was some highs and lows. Yeah. My fave was James. Yeah. We won't talk about anyone else. No. But you, David also looks at me and goes, yeah, you played an auto harp during your talent show. So, okay. And I was like, you're well, right. Here's the thing. You're though, right. That's actually a talent. Also, Gone in 60 seconds is what they're doing up there. I know. 60 seconds. Peaches Christ. Answer friend me. of the pod. Tell her you're alone. Hello. Miss Thing. Girl, I'm in the middle of filming Bald and the Beautiful with Katya. I put you on speakerphone. Say hi. Oh my God. Hi, Katya. Hi, Peaches. I think about you every day. Oh my God. I masturbate thinking about you. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I could get hard. <laughs> Can I call you later? I, I couldn't not pick up because yes. of a, having a celebrity on the on the pod is so fun. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Well, um, yes, please call me back. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I won't. <laughs> um, for, I, for, I'm sorry, that interrupted what I was saying. Oh, oh, David was like, I was like, this is crazy. Why are these people doing these weird talents? And David was like, you played auto harp. And I was like, that is 100% fair. Okay, so I have no room to make fun of anyone's It's fair, talent. but it's also a talent. A talent is a skill that is honed over yes. time. Is it exciting? It's not cool. No. But it's a talent. Is it amazing? No. <laughs> yeah. But it's a talent. I would not I would struggle because I don't have much talent show talent. You, you did know? a talent show. I did a I did a fucking straddle press handstand. Mary, that's what I did. I did can level one gymnastics. That? I did level one gymnastics. But it's fine. Um, How many 40-year-old men you know who can do that? I was 38 at the time. True. <laughs> um, no, uh, the, I just think I'm sick of drag race. Well, I'm not, it's not drag race, but I'm sick of drag queens being humiliated on television. We but already don't have, like, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, let's show the good stuff. Let them shine. But but we also should encourage them to show their good stuff. Right, they just don't have anything good. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. know. Talent, I don't know. Sh talent shows are weird. I don't like it. Not even be, 60 seconds. To be honest, I'm going to mention, let's say somebody like, I don't know, if you're a drag queen who's an incredible celebrity illusionist or a lip syncer, and then the talent show prohibits you from doing a celebrity illusion or a lip sync to a popular song. Coco Montrese. Your Montrese's. talent has been taken away from you. Coco Montrese. Yeah, Coco. That was, so that talent was, see, people, that was ahead of its time. It also, actually. It was ahead of it, wait, it was past its prime, but also <laughs> ahead of its time. It's actually the only one that, for me, completely holds up. Yeah. And in fact, because matures it's, over it's time. It's a classic. It's, it's a, a classic. silent film. Much like the train, um, the first uh, film, you know, the train moving, um, the first motion picture that really freaks people out. Yes. That was Coco Montrese. Very boring. <laughs> Bro, oh, oh, bro, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys don't know we've been talking about bro. Celine Dion. I do it now, actually. If I have to say any, oh, before that thing we did, um, the voiceover, <laughs> yeah, bro, 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 oh, 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 oh. yeah, very boring, very, very boring. God, I love her. Well, here we are again <laughs> with that accent, Canadian. I don't drink milk because the mucus. I can't do the accent. So, okay. <laughs> what is it like? So I say to him, I would like to sing their song. <laughs> it, yes. It, by the way, did you know that my heart will go on? I could be wrong about this. Don't Google it. <laughs> Don't Don't Google. I heard that the version of my heart will go on that is recorded is her demo version. She did in like the sound booth in her house, like just saying it once so that they had a demo version. How and then they were like, it's flawless. How could that be? Because it's her. But in, she has flawless music equipment in her house. Like you can have like an Yo, isolation booth for just yeah. voice. Oh. Like Sia, Sia has like in her house just a thing for just voice. Oh, my my friend the horn player has a soundproof little closet where he does his horn. You could do that here. God forbid. God I forbid. Mean, I would make. Why? What am I making? Sending noise me crystal or? clear. Yeah. Vocal renditions. Uh, wait. Uh, <laughs> you better believe. Oh, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have Vigiletti, um, Isol isolate that as a sample and just make a four minute clip of it. On a loop. Over and over. <laughs> or even better, stretch it. I, uh, ah! I think that should be the chorus of a song, like my new club banger. If you ever do drag racing again, can you do that song? That would be my talent. Lip syncing for 60 seconds to that. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, get booted off right away. Okay, um, so I got big news in the household. Um, I got an Alexa. Because I forget why. Wait, and she speaks French. You didn't tell people where we are. Oh my God, we're in my house. Yeah, which is, you, the address uh, is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 3469 Bryn Mawr Lane. No, um, we're here. So we've got coyotes over here. The Shade Store. The Shade Store, yes, of course. Um, do you like those blinds? I love them. Uh, you nope. know, okay. All right, well, we're moving on. So <laughs> I never, can, I'm, I'm being, not being funny. And I say this about my own house. Yeah. Why choose Venetians over fabric ever? Oh, I don't like fabric. You don't? Okay. Yeah, because the wood. Yeah, the sumptuous wood. mahogany. S sumptuous mahogany woodwork. Because look at the, look at the wood, wood, wood. I get it. No, look I get it. Wood, wood, wood. I don't at all. Look we have the these wood, exact wood. same ones in my house, so. You hate them? No. You hate they my house? Literally the same. <laughs> so why did you come here? <laughs> <laughs> you come in here, disrespect my house 20 minutes into the pot. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on. And then, so another fun, fun development um, is this, I mean, I could do it with Alexa, but I don't want to. Um, we are bald. I know, I know, I know, I know, hold on. What's going on there? Hold on. Do you know how much harder this would be? Work oh, wow. Do you know what I'm talking about like that? The red light special? It's beautiful. For the, for the trade? Oh, for me. Oh. When I do my so stunts and shows. for the non-trade. <laughs> My stunts and shows, yeah. For for no one. For nobody. A girl, you living alone up oh, here. Honey. I bet it's a I bet it's a it's I bet it's a one person sitcom. I have been doing um well of course I do my Sanskrit screaming. Uh, yeah. And then I do um I've been doing a lot of clapping. Uh huh. A lot of clapping, especially downstairs in the gym. And it's like um it's like an energy thing. And if I'm feeling it with the song, I'll start clapping. Just clap. I do the same thing do when I'm know? when I'm running. You clap when if you I'm run. Certain, if I'm if I need to, <laughs> if I need to like take a few deep breaths and like, I love the song, but I need to level up my pussy while I'm running. Uh -huh. I'll be like, <laughs> I'm running, clapping. Yes, <laughs> you're your own hype man. Yes, running, <laughs> lip syncing sometimes. Not not lip syncing actually. Well, yeah. I mean, I think yeah, that's running tired. is running is crazy. Yeah, but clapping, your arms are free. I mean, you're doing this, but you can. 
That's so true, I get actually. that because it yeah, does, yeah. especially in a workout, it makes your energy like, all right, bitch, no, we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, we go. go work. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and then just pop into a handstand. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so I I went and got Botox yesterday. The nurse told me about this woman who gets cool sculpting and she pissed the bed. Because of unrelated? Not, um, not illness, not incontinence. But wanting it. Um, well, let's just say she was not overly or at all apologetic. She simply pulled up her trousers and said, I peed. A 35 minute procedure. Wait, the bed meaning the one on the, uh, at the spa, yeah. not her own bed. Oh yeah, 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 the spa. And were you also in the bed? I was in the bed with her. She yeah. was peeing on me. And it was nope. you. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't a girl. She, also, I it mean, was me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's the, the cool sculpting, 35 minute procedure or something. You don't seem like you think it works. Mama, I don't, I don't know anything about it. And also I know it's snake oil and shouldn't, don't. Uh -huh. Cool sculpting? Is this like ice? Are we in like Minnesota in the winter doing like shaved ice? What I understand is that they freeze fat cells and kill them so your body expels them like waste. I think that's crazy, but that's just me. Anyways, Do you think lipo's crazy? Um, I don't think it's crazy. I think it's severe. Yeah. But I would I think it's crazy er is her peeing the bed and lifting up her trout like her pants at the end saying, I peed. No one noticed that there was pee? No, they noticed. She said I peed and she she indicated that she has done it before. Oh. The gall. One time I got Botox. It's not my normal guy, because you know I go to yeah. skincare whiz, Ross Ross Callahan. Ross Callahan at, at Next Health on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> at Padam, Skincare Wiz. Padam. 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 I feel it and I know. Yeah. And he one time wasn't available, so I went down, down somewhere else down the street. And it was fine. The guy was nice, whatever. Much more painful than Ross. Much more painful. For, wait, for what? Botox. B Bo Botox is painful? It was before we started our American tour. <sighs> it was this time. It never really been painful with Ross, except when they do here, because it's like no fat cells. It's just your scalp, your you skull, and there, your skin. Huh? Yeah, because my forehead goes on forever. Wow. So. I have, mine's like butterfly kisses. This guy not only was hurting the shit out of me, but he. Did he touch you? Mm, he mentioned like, listen, I know a lot of the drag queens. I used to party with all the girls. And he kind of alluded that like, oh, I used to partina with the girls. And, Unprofessional. And then mentioned the girls he used to, let's just say <laughs> some of the dolls he used to doctor up were not faces I would reference if I worked on faces. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, darling. Not exactly the portfolio I would bring to the interview. Right. <laughs> right. That's okay. A, that's doctor patient confidentiality. That's what, it's also a breach on that person. Like, yeah, b big I don't breaches. like that. Yeah, I hate that. Don't tell me about your other patients. Don't tell me stuff that we shouldn't know about. No, I don't like now, that. Now, what about all. the urine, though? Uh, Isn't that also a breach? <laughs> no names. No names. No names. Oh, okay, see, Anonymity. I got names. No, I didn't say her name or the client's name. But that woman out there, she knows what she did. Yeah. She pissed that bed. She knows what she did. She knows what I she hope did. She hears about it. You know what? Though? It's impossible for us to talk about anyone anymore without them finding out about it. I know. I know you guys don't like bag booking, but the people who listen to this also at tweet people when we talk about them. I know. Oh yeah, uh, for good, for better, or for worse. I thank God. I think the last thing I would think Philip Picardi was name dropped in a recent podcast, and I, like my heart sank because I thought I was like, did I talk shit about him? I know. Of course I didn't. He's wonderful. But okay. yeah, like it, it gets around. Oh yeah. Now that I said James Mansfield was my favorite talent show, yeah. we're gonna get a text from Kasha Davis saying Jimbo outside with a submachine gun. hundred yeah, 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 percent. Yeah. yeah. Wait, they all did a talent show? At, it was the last episode for the top two. And all the eliminated girls had to come back and do a talent show. Oh, that's scam likely. And then the two Wait, why? Two, two, th there's a top two now for the first time ever. It's not a top yes. three or four, which is great because when there's like a top six, girl, I said, girl, give it up. Give, give it girl, up. good God, girl, give it up. Get a grip. <laughs> clip, edit the pages. Uh, clip the clip the coupons. Let the girls yeah. go. Yeah. Is it a competition or an extended stay Marriott? <laughs> let them go. Is it a summer retreat with Lady Gargar? Yeah. I've said, and it's like, their top three is a good number. Three is a good number. Yeah, because you got this one, you got that one, you got the other one. Four is. Overly generous. Four is five. No, four is there's one girl who's clearly not in the running. You know what I mean? Yes. Five yeah. is rabies. My brain is being liquefied. Oh, like, oh and six is just like. Decision making is off. Gay pride. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they've ever done six, but I think they have a done top a top five. Six? I think they've done a five. Top five. Four is crazy. How about this Four is though? crazy. Four is nuts because there's a top three. You got Kim, Bob, and Naomi. Yeah. Four is crazy, but they yeah. always do four. 
But I also think a top two is incomplete. Well, because with the four, you got two against two and then one against one. Well, three is fun because you have the one you know is not going to win, usually. Naomi. <laughs> Damn. No, I mean, that's what it was. And then your three is not going to win. And then you have the two that are so different that the conversation over brunch is like, but they're so different. Bob and Kim. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Don't you Bob's agree? Bob's so uh, great at this. Funny. And Kim's so great at this. Yeah. And then Naomi, we love her. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. But she's so the fierce. That's what the three ends up yeah, being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to it, say it, it was like, Bianca and Adore. And we love Courtney. Yes. But let's talk about why Bianca and Adore might win. That's what that right. was. That's right. And, and then you got Darian, top four. And then you got Darian. And then Darian. If you're a fierce diva who likes to work it, you know how to serve and you know how to eat. But who wants to eat the same thing every day? Not this fierce diva. That's why I choose America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, Factor. Factor can help you fuel up fast with flavorful and nutritious ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track reaching your goals, which probably include being a fierce diva who works at Hunty. Stick to your wellness goals with premium ready-to-eat meals featuring high-quality ingredients such as broccolini, leeks, and asparagus. Whoa! Enjoy 34-plus weekly restaurant-quality options like bruschetta shrimp risotto. You can also try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. And don't even get me started on lunch. So inconvenient and dramatic. Not anymore. Factor has lunch to go. Effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. No microwave required. You just have to eat it, honey. I recently tried out Factor's Smoky Barbecue Chicken Breast and it was so delicious and incredibly fast and easy to make that I worked at Hunty all day long. Head to factormeals.com slash bald50 and use code bald50 to get 50% off. That's code bald50 at factormeals.com slash bald50 to get 50% off. Work it hunty, work it hard, serve it and eat it. Extra, extra, we are going on tour. That's right, Katya and I are taking the bald and the beautiful out on the road. So come see us in the flesh retelling the same old story. One of as us well. may or may not interrupt the other. And we can guarantee that we will talk about a movie in great detail that premiered 27 years ago. That's right. For tickets and more info, please check out TrixieandKatya.com. Ooh, there ain't no other way. <laughs> I have had not one drag. Mm. I'm not, I'm talking not one drag. You know how people are like, oh yeah, not one drag of a cigarette. Girl, that's like people are like, I only drink when I smoke. Mary, you drink. And you drink a lot. So yeah. guess what? You smoke, honey. Yeah. You smoke. Not you. Oh. But people who, <laughs> no, people who are like, I only I only smoke when I drink. Yeah, it's like, well, that's well, that, called smoking. smoking. I only come when I fuck. <laughs> like what? Girl, you're still having sex. Wait, I, I don't, I don't. Really, I only swallow when I eat. What? I only kill when I'm hungry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I don't like, it's, um, you know, some things you can't really measure in absolutes, but this you can. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like, do you uh, smoke or not? Do you smoke or not? Do you have a cigarette or not? Not one. Do you love it? It's a miracle. Is it? It's miraculous. But do you miss it or are you already over the hump? Oh, yeah. You do. Girl. Well, I miss the, uh, not to get like woo woo, but I miss the the trick. Because it's like, imagine if you had, a, you had an imaginary best friend that you thought was real. And then one day you find out it's not real. Mm. You're like, so lonely. I think we should tell people that. Um, at our management company, we have found out that apparently interns, <laughs> interns, when they get comfortable, oh, yeah. they will say, they they ask, are extremely Trixie? deeply personal questions. Oh yeah, they, are Trixie and Katya really friends? Interns getting comfortable, probably, yeah. probably, like, they start working on Monday, by Thursday, they're starting to take their shoes off, let their hair yeah, down. Yeah, they hand out, what size dong has she got? <laughs> like, what the hell? That, none of that bothers me, but, and, and none of this bothers me, but it's funny that the most, like, I'm gonna get in there. And maybe if I get wild after I work there a few years, I'm gonna get up the courage to ask if two people that work there are real friends. What does that mean? Do you think, well, I mean, look at my acting reel. Mary, do you think I could act this good? No. Do people think RuPaul and Michelle aren't real friends? I think that people- Is that I, what that is? I think that people think that Michelle, or had thought Michelle was like, she's my best friend and, and RuPaul was kind of silent. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like a hang, like a hanger on, which of course it's not. That's not really the case. I don't really know what their relationship is because I'm not in the middle of their relationship. 
But to assume that like two people who are friends on television must be lying to you off the camera yeah, is crazy. I know. Also, what is a real friend? Someone who scoops up your shit and puts it in the cat litter box? Right. What? Because <laughs> I'm trying to listen more and it's really made me aware of how little I know what you're saying sometimes. <laughs> Or is that awful? I'm clapping. I'm trying to listen more. Yeah, like, the more I listen, the more I, the more I, I don't listen, want like, to. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, how many things have I just said uh huh to? Oh, I you think could a be lot. Like, you could be I like, like anyway, and then I think we should go down and murder yeah. that guy. And I'd yeah, be yeah. like, absolutely. Yeah. So, in, in in summary, the Holocaust did not happen. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> I. Absolutely, <laughs> Oprah. That's my <laughs> Doctor Phil. Phil. Yeah. Wait. Uh, what did that, with the, 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 the one, two, three, one. You're disgusting. You're ugly. I'm going to kill you. Give, Give me $200. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> so you go to your mom and you just say, hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little slow and drunk, I feel like. Yeah, it's yeah. a little slow and drunk. Is he a doctor? No. Absolutely not. Is he a doctor of something? Uh, I don't think he's a doctor. Like, doc. Let's look it up. Do you think that he's no way he's an MD? You know how this next generation has completely like no faith in colleges. Right, Does that mean so? that we will also lose all faith in the college educated? Like if we um, don't believe in these systems, do we also now not believe in the training that people have received from these systems? Well, I I would say it's it depends on the system because I would. What if it's the miscontinental system? Oh, well, miscontinental elite. Yeah. I would let <laughs> operate on me at large. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gay EOI? US, Miss Gay US of A? Absolutely. Yeah, and EOI is like EOI? a chiropractor. <laughs> they can treat you, but it's not really respected EOI is in Reiki. Every <laughs> <laughs> in the regional ones, well, if you need like a your back crack, that's fine. Reiki, I remember I think Pearl's husband does Reiki, but mm. I'm not totally sure on what it is. I have it's so it's an energetic. So I have friends who are Reiki masters, which means like a you know, what Reiki Lake. Reiki, <laughs> Reiki <laughs> Martin and Reiki Lake. <laughs> Reiki Martin, <laughs> Reiki Martin. Living La Vida. So do they touch you or is it is it waving? I, they don't touch I'm you. I'm not being funny. Do no, they so, touch you or is it waving? Also, I met someone recently who said, described himself as an empath. Mm. But I would, I would say that let's, everybody, let's, everybody healthy emotionally, base level, is empathetic. We all are. Sensitive. Em sensitive. Sensitive. Yes. Sensitive. Yeah. I will say some people are very good at clocking like micro behaviors where people reveal how they really feel. Highly I'm not sensitive. always good at that. Right. David. I think Highly I sensitive. Dave and I will be like on a double date. One time we were on a double date with two guy friends of ours. And I was like, what a fun night. Like we had so much fun at the gig and restaurant and the drinks and all the fun. I was like, what a fun night. The next you. day goes, David goes, are you kidding me? That was a disaster. They were obviously like mad at each other about something you didn't pick wow. up on that it was so awkward all night and i was like no <laughs> i was like david you're making it up you were so dramatic they we broke literally they broke up <laughs> and i had a great night and david was like you couldn't tell that they like hate each other that's so fierce mr magoo over here just boopy doopy doo yeah i was like what a blast and by the way playing it back in my head it was probably one of them launching a base at the other one being like did you fuck him and i was like this is a nice night i thought the rigatoni was really good <laughs> I see that a hundred percent. That is so, but, but that calling but yourself very tricksy to be like, well, my experience was great. So everyone's must've been incredible. Like, and it, if it wasn't, it should have been. And it should have been. And I actually think it was disrespectful. So would you say that you are, oh, not, but I'm also it, psychic. In, I, it, insensitive, but extremely psychic. That's how it is. So you're so on the other end of the sensitivity spectrum that the, the information just, just enters you without 100%. you noticing it. It enters me without me noticing it. Yes. Woo! We're about to renovate the house, but the property we're about to renovate is, I think, haunted. And I told David, we better do good on these designs or these ghosts are about to go from like complacent to pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, those oh, curtains with that wallpaper. Old faggy Hollywood, yeah. like, oh. honey, these sconces, are you joking? <laughs> I am going to haunt you tonight. I would leave. I know. I would leave. I think you should leave. I think you should leave. We need to talk about Kevin. Have you seen that movie? No. I don't know if we're allowed to watch it anymore because Ezra Miller. But what? Ezra Miller. Because he beat someone up? Oh. He did something people don't like. And in yeah. Hollywood, if someone does something wrong, we hate them forever He's no matter what. Tina. He's canceled Yes. Tina. Yeah. Okay. How about people in Hollywood doing something we don't like? Bo is afraid. I need to talk to you 
about this fucking film. I thought David said we're going to like it because it's the hereditary you have guy. got to watch it. And I'm not going to say too much about how I feel about it, unfortunately, because I want to spoil your experience. But let me just say that this film was unlike any other I've ever seen. And you are not going to believe it. Okay, when you watch it. Okay, but that is literally what I felt about Barbie. Everybody who's asked me about the Barbie movie, I've said it's not like anything I've ever seen. Did you did you think it was good? Did you like it? I honestly am going to see it again next Sunday yeah. because I am devoid of an opinion still. Okay. You okay, cuz I'm curious. I think it looks cute. Yeah, and can I just say as a, as a precursor to that, for people who say, let's say they love Drag Race, but uh -huh. all they do is shit on Drag Race. Yeah. I hate production, the producers, the queens, uh -huh. the fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate when you say you love something, but you burn energy hating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went into Barbie ready to love it. Yeah, you love, love you're it. vibing. Yeah. I'm in my little dress at the premiere. I'm watching the movie with fucking Margot Robbie, right? Like, we're, wa we're watching the movie. You were. Yes, the whole cast, Dula Peep, everyone. We're, Nicki Minaj was there. Nicki Minaj. Yes. And Dula Peep. So I wanted to like it, and I still might, but I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. Well, that's fine because I have had very conflicting feelings about movies that are unconventional, whatever. And it's upon second viewing, I'm like, oh, that was trash or, oh, this was good. Sometimes second viewing sometimes really helps. I think yeah. I'm seeing it Sunday with Andrew, a bunch of our doll friends. Like, you know, we have that little doll clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all going as doll people. Yeah. And I want to see it again. It was a little like, to be honest, it was, um, you know how Elf is like, it's. I never saw it. Okay, in Elf, I'm gonna. Will Ferrell lives in Santa Land, mm -hmm. North Pole, mm -hmm. uh, North Pole, as you call it in America. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was like, just like at being European, and just kind of like <laughs> some things we just say different, you know. Like I remember when I lived in Provence, we'd be like, Santa Land, do you live in Santa Land? And <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, so in that movie, he lives in Santa Land. Yes, and then Which when is he a real goes place. to the real world, the whole okay. movie is that. Reality, our real world slaps him in the face. It's yes. like, what's a subway? What's a taxi? Yeah, this what's is a, a person? This is a thing. This is, happens in, it's a trope in, in many yes. movies I'm familiar with. Yeah. And Wizard mannequin. of Oz. Mannequin. Wizard of, yes, right? mannequin. Mannequin. Wizard of Oz is sort of the reverse of that, where she's yeah. going from normal to crazy. Right, right, right. Right? Willy Wonka. In Barbie, she's from basically Oz. Like, Barbie Land is magic. It's all one color palette. And she goes to the real world. So the comedy is and like. And now, why does she go there? She goes there because she finds out that I don't want to ruin the movie for everyone who's seen it. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Well, people know that she goes, based on the trailer, you know she goes to the real world. Mm -hmm. And in addition to the comedy of errors of like, oh my God, I'm drinking a cup with real juice in it. I spilled the water on my face. Never had that before. Yeah. It's also existential crisis of what was I made for? Am I real? Do, do I have a GI tract? Kind of, yeah. It's Is like she doesn't gonna have go a pussy in or anything. So well, like, Well, right. Because I saw the trailer and it said... Uh, Ken's like, do you want to sleep over? And she's like, why? Because like we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And she's like, what are we going to do? And he's like, I don't know. Yeah, they don't have, they, in Barbie land, they are toys. So they don't have any genitals. Does he get a weenie when he goes into the real world? Well, in Barbie world, this isn't ruined too much. They know about real world. They do. Yes. Are they expats? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they I'll let people watch it. Do they castrate themselves? To go I'm just kidding. But it was almost like reverse Wizard of Oz if you grew up in Oz and went to Kansas. If Dorothy grew up in Oz and went to Kansas, Ugh. it gives you like existential crisis. Sounds horrible. Like, yeah. So it's a little, it's pretty heavy. Okay. They swing big with big questions about being a woman, being a person, falling okay. in love. Like, Oh, someone was like, there. Uh, one like right wing reviewer was like, oh, stop pushing, pushing that trans agenda on me with the Barbie movie. There's literally one actress, I believe, who's trans. Harry Neff. Who, who, by the way, I'm just going to say is passable. Uh -huh. You probably would never know unless you read about it. Uh -huh. She was in The Idol, too. Did you see and that? again, yes. Yeah. And I'm not here to say who's passing. Don't yell at me. I'm oh. saying passing for her what? as the a bar. TV actress. She's passing she's, the bar. You would just think, yeah. oh, there's a girl in this movie. Yeah, that's a lawyer. She, they don't go, look at this is trans Barbie. They don't do that. So I don't know. They're not pushing <laughs> woke. That's just a woman playing a woman. There you go. So what's the A issue? woman playing a doll. Right, a woman play a doll, play a doll. <laughs> Let people live. And there's also like a plus size, and they don't go. This is plus size Barbie. These just are Barbies. Okay. They don't call it also, black Barbie, black it's Barbie. Movie. Hello. Thank you. I really am up. <laughs> These are nice. Do we always have these? These are nice. Just got it. Microphones. Um, I like microphones. You do. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's cameras for sound. Oh my god. 
We should wrap. We gotta go. Bye.